Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about breathing with the trombone and the trumpet. This video is by request. So as you know, I do take requests for videos if you want extra help with something. So if you want to see or want more information about how to do something or something relevant to your playing, then just ask me and when I have a chance, I will make you the video to go along with it. Or you can just come to extra help. <coughs> but today, brass breathing. Uh, breathing in general, for every instrument that uses the uh, air, so no cello, no violin, but for flute, clarinet, saxophone, trumpet, trombone, any of those five instruments. You want to breathe and imagine that your lungs are like a glass of water. So, you can bear my terrible drawing of a cup on the board here. What part of the cup is going to fill up first if I was pouring water into it? The bottom, obviously. It doesn't fill up up here, it starts to fill up down here. Your lungs are the same way. Here's a bad drawing of a lung. You want your lung to fill up with air from the bottom up. So you want your air to fill up here. That way we can maximize the amount of air that we have in our lungs. So, what we have to do, put your hand on your stomach, and as you breathe in, you want to feel your stomach expand. Now, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm a pretty thin person, so it's a little hard to see on me but I'm gonna do my best to show you. Notice that as I did that, my shoulders stayed relaxed and low. They didn't tense up and come up to my ears. They stayed nice and relaxed. My stomach expanded. You could see my hand move and you could see that the air was filling up from the bottom all the way up to the top of my lungs. <clears throat> That's what we should aim for every single time we go to do this. So on your own, pause the video, take a minute or two, just practice doing that. Breathe in, breathe out. What you can even do is take a deep breath in and then just exhale for as long as you can. And just keep that going as long as you can to start to build up your lung capacity so you can get even more air. Now there's another exercise that I wanna show you. Uh, everyone can do this, but it's gonna be the most useful for the brass players, which is why I'm gonna be using a trumpet to demonstrate the effect that it shows. Just take a plain piece of paper. It doesn't matter what's on it. Any piece of paper. You're gonna come up to the wall. And then what you're gonna do is with your air, nothing else, just your air, you're gonna keep that piece of paper stuck to the wall. Let me show you. So I have my piece of paper. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it up against the wall. You have to use your hands to keep it on the wall in the first place. But you're gonna put it on the wall. You're gonna get your face, it doesn't have to be super close like that, but you wanna keep your face relatively close to the board. <coughs> and then all you're gonna do, feel your stomach expand as you breathe, and you're gonna blow a straight line of air to keep that piece of paper on the wall, like this. See how long you can do it. And keep doing it over and over again so that you get the straight line of air that we're looking for that you need to keep that here. <clears throat> if you can't tell if you're blowing in a straight line, you can put your hand right in front of your face and do that. So you can feel if the air is going all over the place or if you have that nice focused laser beam of air that we want. That we want. <clears throat> now, back to the wall exercise for a second. Don't let go of the paper too early. If you let go of the paper before you start to breathe out, you could do it perfectly right, but the paper's gonna fall before the air has a chance to hit it. So make sure that you just hold on to the paper until your airstream starts to hit it, like this. So like I said, take a nice deep breath, use as much air as you can, blow a straight focused laser beam of air, and keep that piece of paper stuck to the wall as long as you can. Now, we're gonna take what we did with the air and the piece of paper, and we're gonna apply it to the instrument. First, make sure your lips are firm, the corners of your mouth are firm, your lips are tight. Go. I'm not using my tongue. It looks like I'm using my tongue because of the way my lip is vibrating, but I'm not using my tongue, it's just your lips. That's exactly what your lips are doing inside the mouthpiece. Take your mouthpiece. Uh -huh. 
Make sure you're getting that nice clear buzz. Don't let air escape from the side of your mouth. It should all be going into the mouthpiece because your corners are sealed. Now, take that nice focused stream, laser stream of air. I don't care what note you play, just pick a note. Take in a huge breath and you're gonna blow that laser through the trumpet. You should notice immediately if you are having trouble getting sound out, that the sound is gonna be much clearer and easier to, uh, easier to control. <clears throat> and it's also gonna help you get higher because to play higher, you need to have tighter lips and use faster air. And uh, as I get higher and higher, I'm still thinking about keeping that nice focused laser beam of air. So you can use these videos, particularly if you're a trumpet or a trombone player, although other wind instruments, the breathing activity that we did with the stomach and putting your hand on your stomach, that is very applicable to you as well, so you should feel free to use that. Uh, <clears throat> extra help, until the conclusion of the duet project, every single day before school, you know how, to, uh, how that process works. I hope to see some of you there as we get ready to start performances of duets next week for sixth grade. <coughs> In fifth grade, we're going to have one more class, and then we're going to start performing. But in the meantime, happy practicing. Please ask me questions on Google Classroom, on comments. I will see them and get back to them as soon as I can. Happy practicing. I will see you in class next week.